Welcome to this pepper plant grafting tutorial and experiment. Pepper plants are a very economically important vegetable. Unfortunately, they are highly susceptible to pest, disease, and flood. On the other hand, hot pepper plants have vigorous, pathogen, and flood resistant root systems. Grafting a bell pepper cyan on a hot pepper rootstock will allow the science to acquire those benefits. In this experiment, I will compare and contrast the growth rate of grafted pepper cyan on different rootstock with ungrafted pepper plants. The bell pepper cyan cultivar is yellow wonder. It will be grafted on both Thai chili and habanero chili rootstock. The germination substrate is made with one part sand for one part fibromix. 48 cell seed trays inserts were filled with wetted germination mix. Individual seeds were sown in each cell. Both cyan and rootstock were planted on the same day and labeled accordingly. 48 seeds from each hot pepper rootstocks were planted, while 96 seeds from the bell pepper cyan were planted. Seed trays were watered, then covered with a plastic dome. The seedlings were allowed to grow for approximately 3 weeks until their stems reached a diameter of 1.5 mm. When the required stem size was achieved, large and LT seedlings were used for the experiment. At the time of grafting, good sanitation is paramount. Ants must be carefully cleaned. Workplace must be sanitized using 70% ethanol. Tools must also be cleaned with ethanol to prevent pathogen from infiltrating the wounded tissues. For the grafting to succeed, stems of similar diameter must be selected. A clean cut at 45 degrees below the cotyledon will separate the cyan from the rootstock. The cyan is then placed on the desired rootstock. A grafting tube is used to secure the union. It is crucial that the cutting angle is the same to maximize the contact of the two vascular systems. The grafted seedlings were placed into the mist chamber for 10 days until the graft union is healed. Here is an overview of the final product.
When the graft was healed, seedlings growth was measured over a period of 10 days. Yellow wonder rootstock was used as a control. Grafted plant in comparison with ungrafted ones shows a reduced growth right after the graft. Overall, pepper plants grafting is a good solution when they are grown in a less than ideal location, but initial seedling growth will be slower. It is also important to note that grafting vegetables is labor-intensive.